एच यू एल पोस्ट विथ क्यू वन एफ फाइव ट्वेंटी वन नंबर एंड दिस हेज बीन मच बेटर देन वॉट वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग एट ई टी नाउ एंड ओवरऑल वॉट द स्ट्रीट वॉज ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टिंग इट हेज बीन बेटर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द रेवन्यू एंड द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी वाइल इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मार्जिन दे हैव बीन इन लाइन विद आर एक्सपेक्टेशन नाउ क्विकली टेकिंग ऑल थ्रू द नंबर्स द रेवन्यू इज अगेन क्लाइम बैक टू द टेन थाउजेंड मार्क एंड इट्स एट टेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी क्रॉस इट्स अ फोर परसेंट फॉर द क्वार्टर ऑन अ योर ऑन योर बेसिस सो श्योरली दैट वॉज अ वेरी पॉजिटिव सरप्राइज एज वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ डिक्लाइन ऑफ अराउंड वन टू परसेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेवन्यू बट दिस हेज श्योरली be in a positive surprise and we are seeing a growth of around 4% in the in the, uh, in the revenue of the business talking about the profitability the profit has come out at around 1881 crores which is up by 7% on a year on year pay basis and this is aided by obviously the lower effective tax rate cuts but i think the gsk merger is also something that is supporting the earnings this time talking about the margins the margins have seen a contraction of 100 basis points in standard 25% versus 26% on a year on year basis now a very important number which we must concentrate in fmcg businesses is the volume growth now the company said that the underlying volume growth is at a negative 8% so they are seeing a decline in the volume growth of around 8% and overall this is a mix of the product as well as value value and volume so that is what the underlying volume growth is now overall this is the second quarter that you know the company has seen a decline in the volume growth last time it was around 7% decline in volume growth. this is the 8 uh, now we are seeing an 8% decline in volume growth so that is slight concern over there but overall the company's business in terms of sales growth as well as overall performance is been much better than what we were expecting yes this time there is a exceptional uh, expense as well of around 1000 uh, 118 crores which we are seeing and that is also something that is uh, included in the profitability of the company now uh, overall if you go to see in terms of the segment revenue home care and home care as well as uh, beauty and personal care are surely impacted and you know both of them have seen a decline this quarter in terms of beauty and personal care so that covers all the skin products or uh, all your beauty products uh, like lipsticks and everything which they have that overall that business of their company has seen a decline of 12% during the quarter uh talking about food and refreshments that has been the highlight for most companies during the quarter and overall for gs uh HUL as well as GSK uh, nutrition business which is now a part of the food and refreshment business that also comes in a positive uh, support for HUL's overall improvement in the segment and they've seen a 52% growth there so you know overall the uh, food and refreshment business is uh, done quite well packaged food items is also something that really supported most of the companies and i think overall the food business is really supporting HUL as well uh, talking about overall business of the company now 80% of the business uh, the company said that saw a 6% growth so that means only 20% of the business was severely impacted and that is what impacted majorly the overall uh, revenues as well as the overall business of the company now what comes in this 20% we have ice creams we have vending machine businesses of the company uh, also includes skin care products beauty care products home care products this is all what comes in that 20% you know somewhat in the 20% line and that is what was majorly impacted of the company mainly because in home consumption had taken a up uh, upper hand while out home consumption had you know been on the back seat so all the out home consumption products were where they have seen been severely impacted while in home consumption products like health hygiene food refreshment all of them saw a good growth overall the life boy brand of the company also delivered a very strong growth a middle single uh, double digit growth in terms of life boy and in terms of health hygiene nutrition they did post a middle digit single growth a uh, middle uh, single digit growth so that is quite positive sign for the company and the gsk nutrition business has done quite well for the company and the company said that that was done you know positively for both in the terms of revenue as well as in terms of profitability the business has done quite well for gsk nutritions so overall a good signs by gsk nutritions business and they have surely seen some synergies over here and in terms of demand yes they are saying that the demand looks a bit uncertain in the near term but overall they are seeing better demand in rural areas and hul has around 50% of its uh, revenues which come from rural areas so surely they are going to be a beneficiary over there if you know rural growth that as we are seeing rural is improving much more and is growing faster than urban areas recovering much faster than urban areas so that is surely going to be a positive sign and that is what is going to support hul also going forward all in all this quarter has been quite good for hul